Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to a No Man's Sky tutorial video. Today we're talking about money. We're gonna get that money. Yes, I promise I won't sing anymore. Money, units, credits, whatever you want to call it, there is lots of ways to earn it. Now, the game's been out two years. There's plenty of videos out there telling you how to get money. But with the brand new latest next update, I thought I'd go over some of the old ones, add some of the new ones, and mix it all into a big pot of money. On a serious level, there's loads of videos out there telling you how to earn money, but the update has changed a few things, and there are some new ways, particularly for early games. So this is what this video is going to focus on. I'm not going to go into every single detail of trading. I'm not going to be talking about things that you might not be able to get until well late in the game. We're going to be focusing on the easy, quick ones that I know about already, and some of the changes they may have made in the latest next update. Let's go, Money Talks. It's an old one, but scan absolutely everything. Although if you have the option, scan animals rather than trees, plants and fauna. You don't get nowhere near as much money when you're scanning plants. You definitely get more money for scanning creatures. Since time immemorial, we have gained money in No Man's Sky by scanning the creatures all around you. It's an old one, but it's probably still one of the best ones. Scan every single creature you come across in the first early stages. You can get anything from a thousand credits all up to like 20,000, maybe more. So many variations depending on what kind of planet you're on and how rare them creatures are. But always scan them. Make sure you've got your visor. That's one of the first upgrades you definitely need to get hold of. And then just go ahead. You also get a bonus amount of credits if you scan a big percentage of the creatures on one planet. If you take a look at the planetary information as well as your milestones, you should be able to work out how many roughly creatures you need to scan to get that extra bonus increase in units. Be nice to the pets that you see. Once you've scanned them, go ahead and give them a pet. If they have that smiley face, you'll see them pooping out these red jewels. These can be worth some credits. They're worth gathering, they're worth collecting, and again, they're useful for later in-game stuff. So make sure you always get a chance to get a few of these in your inventory. You never know when you're going to go to a trading outpost and sell them. As soon as you possibly can, make sure you unlock the mining terrain tool. This will allow you to go for pure deposits, which obviously are much more expensive and you can sell these on for much more profit. As well as that, they're really useful obviously because they help with better weapons and better items normally that you've got to construct. So it's definitely worth getting the pure deposits as quickly as you can with the mining terrain tool. So the basics of No Man's Sky still apply for pretty much every game you've ever played. You gather resources, you find a trader to sell it to. Depending on where you are in the galaxy, the prices will go up and down. So some galaxies, some areas may have better prices for stuff than others. It's up to you to start trading. This is a big aspect of the game that you can really take advantage of when you get to a certain level where you can easily jump from system to system, not worrying about using warp cores and stuff to do that. So maybe a bit mid-game when you get into the trading aspects but you can flood the markets in different areas by selling high and buying low you can make a quick return it's definitely a really good way to earn money mid-game but initially you want to find this machine it's usually on a space station and this is where you're going to be initially selling items and buying items you can see the prices that have got there and if they're in red obviously you're not going to be necessarily getting a good price for it however if they've got plus signs on them or they're really high then you can tell that you're going to be getting a lot of credits for them units so it might be worth holding on to some resources until you go to the next galaxy but just put that to mind have you got enough space will you be doing lots of missions in between that's why this is really a bit of a mid game strategy but definitely early on if you're looking for credits quick that's what you should do go and sell your stuff at the space station don't miss up the opportunity either to learn different races language or get help from anyone that's around the npcs will often ask you to give them a hundred copper or a corvac stone or something else and this will gain you standing in their ranks if you've got more standing you get better opportunities to get better resources and also you get better unit prices when you're buying and selling from them so always talk to everyone you see whenever you board a space station in space no one can hear you mine not strictly true but if you really love diggy diggy hole hole you can do that in space but you'll be using your spaceship yes it's a bit more tedious and it is a bit more time consuming but very early on game maybe you've made some mistakes you've sold some stuff or bought some stuff and you've just got no credits but you need to get some quickly 
space mining is a real option. You can get a lot of silver from shooting asteroids as well as a small amount of gold. It's not the most cost effective way of doing stuff but if you're a bit stranded or you can't make it to the next system and you're desperate to get some money, silver can make you a little bit of a profit. If you find you're only getting the fuel for your aircraft, move over a little bit and see if you can find a patch that will give you more silver. You'll generally will get a little bit of gold and a lot more silver whenever you're shooting up asteroid fields. As you're exploring you'll come across tech salvage and you can normally use these once you get a blueprint analyzer to get custom blueprints and buildable items for your bases. Now early on in game these building pieces are pretty useless unless you really want to get into the building aspect straight away I would advise holding off so that you can use the credits that you sell them for instead. So don't use the blueprint analyzer to convert your tech salvage go to a galactic station and sell them. You can get over 200,000 units per tech salvage. It's definitely worth using it that way rather than going and just getting some chair blueprints or some lighting blueprints. That is definitely stuff you want to be thinking about when you've got lots of money and you can go ahead and spend it. And you often find lots of tech salvage exploring so it's definitely something you're not gonna necessarily run out of really quickly. There are some really precious commodities in the universe and I'm not just talking about gold. There are some other things that you might be surprised how much money they can go for. One of them is the larval core. These are eggs that you get from these horrible creatures that pop out the ground when you're exploring. So what you're looking out for is an abandoned base. You'll often find them on some planets and these are what you're going to be looking for. It looks like it's got some corrupted element inside it as well. So go and investigate, go and do everything you need to do inside the base, unlock try and get anything that's in there you'll often find some small resources when you come out you'll be looking for these egg sacs now when you go to open one of them or you actually shoot them open they will drop a tiny little egg grab that egg that is the larval pod that is what's going to make you lots of money they're worth around 90,000 units per egg now they do spawn these monstrosities spoilers and they will come and attack you there is much more efficient way of getting away from this big shout out to little legs for giving me this suggestion stand on top of the base that you can see in the distance there and just shoot at the creatures as they come up in fact if you do it right there's lots of pods on either side of the base so if you stand on the middle part there they won't be able to get you and you can jump down and shoot more pods and grab more eggs quicker this is a really cost efficient way these creatures can swarm you and i have died to them while finding this out but this was the first time i come across this and then i asked my crew about it in discord and they gave me the heads up once you've got a good 20 or 30, you may need to spend quite some time farming these. Go ahead to a galactic station and sell all the eggs and you will rake in the money very quickly indeed. One of the biggest ways that you're going to make lots of money and if you're extremely lucky you can make millions in just a little under an hour is by finding some relics or some buried treasure. Now often you get coordinates for a crashed ship if you visit an outpost or you get a signal. When you get to the crash freighter it will be a case of digging up the loot boxes around you. Now these loot boxes don't always contain units they sometimes contain warp drives and stuff like that but more often than not they do and they contain anything up to around 250 thousand units per box you should be able to find all the loot boxes underground so you do need the terrain uh, mining drill to go underneath the ground and unlock them you're also going to need some other specialist stuff or not specialist stuff but you're definitely going to need your oil refiner with you so take a spare one or make sure you've got the materials to craft one you'll spend about 15 to 20 minutes here max if you've got it all prepared you might have the resources needed but basically you need to exchange some resources to gain access to these boxes now this one here was pretty simple it was ferrous magnetized ferrous and i do believe carbon condensed so i had to simply put their materials into a a refinery that i bought with me and then i could simply unlock them all and i've done this about four or five times in this area and like i said three or four of them times you can see i got loads and loads of units for doing that one word of caution though in this area it released toxic gases that really take away your shield so be careful you may come across these little booby traps but there's loads of these boxes around these crash sites so it's definitely worth digging them up you'll also find in this outer ring around the crash sites you'll find boxes above the ground so you don't even have to dig up or do anything like to unlock them you simply just open them but you'll find lots of them in and around the crash sites people have been telling me that you can get relic if you're really lucky you might be able to dig up a relic if you dig up a relic they literally can be worth up to 19 million credits or so so 
if you find a crashed freighter or more importantly you find the signal that leads you to a crashed freighter make sure you have a good scan around and see if them loot crates are there it probably happens a couple of hours after the game and you're obviously going to need few worlds by then but as soon as you start getting to the outposts you should start receiving one of these missions or you may have come across it yourself just take a look on the ground below if you're extremely lucky and usually within the first few hours of the game you will come across a star freighter in trouble it may be being attacked by smaller starships if you can defend that star freighter in time you will be rewarded with a free freighter and this is why this is in the money tutorial because it obviously saves you mega bucks freighters aren't no joke they're hella expensive up to 13 million units or more maybe even much more than that I, that's the only ones i've come across so far and they've been really expensive so if you want to get yourself a freighter for free you want to save yourself a lot of money go from system to system in the first few stages you should notice a ship being attacked don't ignore it go to its aid and it will gift you the freighter as a reward Freighters are incredibly useful, in fact once you get a freighter and you start building your own armada once you've got lots of money, you can send them on missions, thus generating you more resources and more money. Now that is late game, so I'm not going to go into that in this video, but that is the whole idea of why a freighter is so important, so never give up the opportunity. If you see a freighter under attack, go to its rescue and try and take out the ships attacking it. It is a randomly generated game, it doesn't happen at exactly the same point for everyone, but around usually if you've been completing the story missions in a really good time, around two hours in you might find you've got the freighter. Some people might get it a bit earlier, some people like me, I got it around four hours later. So maybe that way didn't work out for you, maybe you missed the opportunity or you've just managed to get yourself a hell of a lot of credits and you want to do it the old fashioned way and go and buy yourself a brand spanking new freighter. What do you have to do? Well you have to find one. You simply go and board it, talk to the captain and he'll give you a sad story about how he can't control his crew anymore and it's all just so much for him. You will offer to take it off his hands for a price. Like I said, they can be really expensive. It just depends what kind of upgrades they've got on them. But they can be worth the money for sure. If you've got that kind of money floating around, it's definitely worth an investment. Maybe mid-game you want to start looking at this. But definitely when you get it, it opens up so many new avenues, it can be worth it. So like I said, I'm going to go into it in more detail later on in the game, but I did want to show you roughly how to do it in the game if you manage to get hold of a bunch of ships to make your own armada. These are the menus that you can see and you can tell what kind of ship is better it's suited for. Maybe it's exploration mission, maybe it's going to be a combat mission. These are the options that you're going to have with your ships once you acquire them. So it's up to you how you send them about. You also need to make sure they're fueled correctly and when they return, they will give you lots of credits. Once you've unlocked your own freighter, or even if you just visit a freighter that's in space, you can go to the Galactic Commission Station. This is where you can choose missions, usually for multiplayer, but you can complete them on your own. Now some of the rewards for these are a little bit obscure so far early on in game, but we can all read big numbers. As you can see, the Survival of the Fittest mission offers a hell of a lot of units for completing, and it may be a bit of a challenge, but that's definitely some easy units to get if you're willing to spend 20 minutes to half an hour completing the mission. Especially if you're doing it as a group or with your friends. Otherwise, if you're doing it on your own, again, just go ahead and give it a shot. Some of them might be easier than others. Just make sure you go for the missions that are obviously give you units over then items. Again, a bit of a simple one and a bit more time consuming. Gathering lots of materials to sell on is pretty vital too. But you quickly run out of space. So what can you do? Well, you can condense your materials into better ores. When you refine them using the refiner, you can often refine lots of base materials into something else. And then you can go and sell these at a station. This works out a lot easier to carry items. So it's well worth doing, but don't worry. Perhaps you do need one of them resources unrefined, you can go ahead and just pop it back into the refinery and it will come back out with what you put in basically. So if you do have hundreds and stacks of something, you can easily condense it down into its next better state and then just put it back into the original state if needed. Otherwise, go to a station, sell it to a trading outpost and get loads of bucks that way. You also come across these little eggs sometimes, albuminium, albuminium, I can't really say the word. They're like oysters basically, they are worth a lot of credits too. You can condense them down into certain things but really keep hold of them and sell them on. There are some plants as well that you're going to need certain upgrades to unlock. So if you're wondering why you can't unlock something or open something up, you're going to need a gauntlet, an improved gauntlet before you can tackle it because it's got much more toxic atmosphere or there's something definitely really toxic about it. But these are really worth a lot of money if you can sell these on. 
Now, in the next update, lots of resources did get changed around. Some of their values have changed and some of them have been added as brand new. Emerald is still a really good one as well as gold is really valuable. Salt is a fairly good commodity to try and get hold of as is Cobalt and of course Chlorine is a new one which probably gives you one of the most yielding minerals you can find. So if you find a good Chlorine deposit or you can condense any materials into Chlorine, make sure you do, that's going to give you loads of units. Now it may seem really obvious but you can actually just click on the options button and it will show up a wealth of menus and little logs that you can read that give you ideas about how to earn money and understanding No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has become really dense and it is a lot to take in, that's why these videos are pretty good. But if you've got the time, go over some of the stuff and particularly how to make money section, you really will learn some stuff. Also, make sure you upload all your discoveries. If you're not online for any reason, make sure you are and your network is online so that you can upload all of the plants, all of the creatures and all of the planets you find. This gives you even more credits on top of when you first discovered them. And I'm finishing off with something pretty obvious, but try not to die. You can go back and get your resources from a grave marker and you'll get all your items that you dropped. However, as you keep dying, your equipment becomes more damaged. And so eventually you'll have to replace all your equipment or make your equipment again. So try and avoid dying if you can help it. It really will save you on resources and obviously that's going to save you on units in the long run. There really are lots of other ways to earn money. This is only the tipping point for me. I've only just started playing No Man's Sky again after two years. So I want to give you much more in-depth guides. We're going to be talking about farming. Farming is another really lucrative way. Growing your own materials can be really lucrative. And I will be going through the trading system a little bit more and showing you what you can do with freighters a little bit more as well. Give me any more tips you've got. Let me know any hints. Find, tell me the ways that you've earned the most money in the comments down below. I enjoy plays games. I'm going to do as many No Man's Sky guides as quickly as I can for you guys. Hit this video up with a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Go and check out my other No Man's Sky videos. And I'll see you ratbags in space. Probably. Probably. If I don't keep dying.